What's up guys? So in my last video I showed you guys that I upgraded my Note 202 and I replaced some of the board and the processor. I replaced the Core i5-4570 with the Core i7-6700K processor, but of course I'm still using the stock Intel heatsink since I didn't have any other cooler that would fit in this case. Rest assured that I found a compatible cooler on Amazon and I'm waiting for it to arrive. In case you were wondering, the cooler is a Scythe Kazuti low profile cooler that is 40 millimeters tall. This would allow me to mount an additional 15 millimeter fan above it just barely clearing the no 202's 56 millimeter height restriction. Now I ran each game in both 4k and at 1080 just to give you an idea of what performance you might expect from the GPU. The GTX 970 is meant for 1080 gaming at max settings in most cases but due to the memory allocation issue with this card we can only use three and a half gigs instead of the full four gigs. Going beyond three and a half gigabytes gives us horrible frame stutter and severe performance and frame dips. Luckily though, I didn't run into any of those issues while gaming at 4K, so with all that said, let's get into the benchmarks. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. But if you're probably wondering why I'm still using the GTX 970, it's because that's the only card that I have available to me. I do plan on getting the 1080 Ti if it even comes out in March during PAX like people said, but I highly doubt it. It's probably going to come out maybe in April or May. That's where Nvidia usually likes to announce their GPUs, but we'll see. I mean, it's good to hope, right? Get it earlier. But that's going to do it for this video. 